G'day everyone, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And today we're doing my build and design review of the Nokia 7 Plus. Recently released in Australia, released a little bit earlier around the rest of the globe, uh, but Nokia 7 Plus is one of the latest additions. It's not their flagship, but it could be if they changed a couple of things. But today we're talking about the design. And I have to say, I'm very impressed with the design of the Nokia 7 Plus. You can have a look. This is 6000 series aluminium, which I think is more than adequate for a device within this price range. Now, in Australia, we're talking about $500, $550. I know it's advertised for more than that, but that's what you will get it for if you go into the stores and do a bit of bargaining. Now, it has this copper rim around the outside, copper-looking buttons as well which really do look nice and it comes with a nice clear case as well and the copper rim around it actually almost shines through the clear case and it gives it a really nice look about it so I'm really impressed with the way it looks you also have that nice copper ring around the fingerprint scanner and the camera hump as well and also on the back you do have the Nokia branding again in that same copper color on the bottom of the device you do have your microphone USB Type-C and your speaker. Now I'm quite impressed with the speaker on this device for the build, design, hardware of it. It's uh, definitely a good sound that is produced by the speakers. Definitely better than my Galaxy S8 Plus. I have to say that straight out of the box. On the top you do have your headphone jack and on the right hand side of the device you have your power button and your volume keys which both are really nice and tactile there's no mistaking that you have pressed them and there's a nice little click as well once you do press it. This is the black copper version and there is also a white copper version but uh, where I bought this device from you can only get the black copper version. It's 158 millimeters tall, 75 millimeters wide and just a touch under 8 millimeters thick. There is also three microphones on here for that Nokia Ozo recording, so it picks up in front of the device and behind it and to the sides of it, so that's a win. We have a 6 inch IPS LCD display which I think is bright enough. In the bright sunlight it is a little bit on the dull side but I am more than happy with it. It could be a little bit brighter but hey, I mean look at that, that's in, in daylight. You can see there's a bit of glare happening but it is bright enough. 18 by 9 aspect ratio display, I believe it's Gorilla Glass 3, 2.5D. We are looking at a 12 megapixel camera on the back and a 13 megapixel camera as its secondary shooter on the back. On the front, 16 megapixel. I'm pretty happy with the cameras. From a build and design point of view, I would say the only thing we're really missing is the waterproofing. I went for a run today and it was raining in the morning so I had to take the sim out and swap it with my S8 Plus. I need that waterproofing. But from a build and design perspective, that's the only thing missing in my opinion. Well, that's it for the Nokia 7 Plus design and build video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit the like button and the subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. Check out.